a few weeks ago, I had a live stream on this channel in which I invited viewers to evaluate a haul of comics that I had recently picked up in a sale across town. And at one point, the conversation turned to Simpsons Comics. I would picked up a couple of trades in that hall as well. And then the conversation turned to the Treehouse of Horror comics from The Simpsons. Much like the Treehouse of Horror episodes on television, these were annual comics that had come out for many years. And being an annual anthology series had a bunch of guest writers and artists doing one-shot stories that apparently were very good. Apparently, because I hadn't read any of these and neither had a number of our viewers because these comics were out of print. The collections were very hard to find. So we were just complaining about the fact that they were out of print and they were so hard to find when some other viewers in that very chat pointed out to us that, they're not out of print anymore because Abrams Comics Arts had recently started publishing all of these comics in these oversized hardcover slipcover editions. The first volume had been published apparently just a couple of weeks before this live stream. Needless to say, as soon as the stream ended, I got online, looked for that first volume, found it, ordered it, and a couple of weeks later, here it is in my hands. This is The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, Ominous Omnibus Volume 1, Scary Tales and Scarier tentacles. This is a slender but oversized hardcover in a slipcase, the first of three planned volumes that will, when it's over, collect the entirety of the Treehouse of Horror comics. I've gone through this first volume. Spoiler alert, I really love it. So let's jump right into a quick look at this volume. Let's start from the outside and make our way in because part of the joy of this edition is also that it's a deluxe format, not just the fact that these stories are coming back into print, but that they are being brought back with such love and care, which is evident from first sight. A high quality slipcase, high quality in its color reproduction, in its printing and in its manufacturing. This is a die cut slipcase. Die cut means that a tool called a die has been used to cut shapes into paper or cardboard as opposed to just the edges. So the globe of the cover is actually cut out and when you draw the book out you see the larger image featuring the supporting cast of The Simpsons all with these grotesque abnormalities or mutations. It's a beautiful and charming design with its use of greens and this hot pink and yellow making for a wonderful package. The back of the slipcase has more illustration, absolutely unmarred by any of the barcode, ISBN or publishing information which is put to the bottom of the slipcase, something I really appreciate. As an added bonus, this cover also glows in the dark, adding to that whole spooky Halloween look of it. The book is well bound and I think the perfect size for me. I do love oversized pages. This is larger than a standard trade paperback. But I also don't like too much of a page count within a large hardcover volume. This one just right for reading. The printing quality and color reproduction on this glossy paper is impeccable. Looking through the table of contents, we can see that these are not presented in chronological order. So you're not going to get the issues or the stories in the order that they were published. And that doesn't really make a difference. The Treehouse of Horror, even more so than your normal Simpsons comics, exist outside of continuity. They are completely self-contained stories. A number of them end in ways that are quite final. And there's a reset button for the next story. So there's no real order to read them in. And I think that's one of the interesting things that this omnibus does is that it gathers them together thematically. So there are six thematic sections to this volume. Invasions from Beyond. Technology Run Amok, Trick or Terror, Chilling Killer Thrills, From the Shadows, and Parallel Parables. Obviously dealing with different types of sci-fi and horror themes like alternate dimensions or serial slashers. The book contains not only comics but also single page gags and cut out, fold out exercises ancillary to comic stories but all fitting in with the horror themes. And some of these are from annuals and specials, not only from the Treehouse of Horror comics, 
proper. At least that's the way it seems from the table of contents. The table of contents does give you not just the title, but also the year and the issue number that the story was published in. So if you did want to read these stories chronologically, you can just use this TOC to hopscotch in chronological order. Being an anthology series and being this sort of twilight zone, outer limits, parallel dimension, continuity, busting out of canon types of stories, being all of these kind of stories allows these comics to have even more of a versatility versatility and flexibility than the Simpsons structure already allows it. You can have stories with twist endings and finality in a way that you couldn't as part of the sitcom regular. And the flexibility and versatility is there not just in the plots of the stories, but also in the art styles, which gives it as a comic, I think, even more power than, say, the animated show, because the episodes of the TV show would still pretty much look like the TV show. There's a certain consistency in style that might be played with, but is never really going to break out completely in the way that these comics sometimes do. Because of the incredible variety of artists involved, you get the familiar Simpsons cartooning style to be sure, but you also get very interesting variations on that style and takes on The Simpsons that's able to contribute another dimension to the bizarro nature of these stories. Not only is that something this series is known for, the variety of artists, the variety of writers, and the variety of styles that is employed, not only is this known by readers, it is definitely known by the publishers of this edition. Because at the very end of the book, you will find a creator index, alphabetically listing writers and artists whose work appears in this volume, and the page numbers of where you can find those comics, adding yet another way to read this volume. So you have the read it cover to cover, so you're going by the thematic arrangement from the publishers and the editors of this volume, read it in chronological order, skipping around using the dates given in the table of contents, or read by creator. Using the creator index, you can jump straight to Mike and Laura Allred, Sergio Aragones, Alice Cooper, Jeff Darrow, Paul Dini, Evan Dorr, Orkin, Mark Hamill, Sammy Harkim, Scott Morse, Patton Oswalt, Eric Powell, Stan Sakai, Scott Shaw, Gail Simone, Jeff Smith, Jill Thompson, and many, many more directly, making this a true showcase for the talent involved. The stories are all charming and funny. Some of them are outright classics, and it makes for a great book to read cover to cover or just pick up and read one or two stories from. So yes, I love this edition. I think it does everything right. It brings back stories that are beloved critically as well as popularly, things that have not been available. It brings them back. It brings them back in style, giving them a loving and handsome treatment in its production. For fans of the comic, this is a no-brainer, but if you're not familiar with The Simpsons, if you're not familiar with the Treehouse of Horror comics, this is an excellent collection because it's a great place to start and it celebrates the heights of the series. It understands the stories that it's collecting. It understands what makes them unique and special and takes that editorial approach to present it as such. Well done all around. I really enjoyed this edition. I'm looking forward to getting the next two volumes and having the whole set in this way. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the first Treehouse of Horror omnibus. This has been For the Love of Comics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next video.